simple. Hit a small stick with a big stick, add in a lot of alcohol, and you've got an event drawing crowds for the last 53 years. Here's how you play. Use a big stick to pop a small stick into the air, then whack it. Just like baseball, it's three strikes and you're out. Whoever hits it the farthest down the street wins. The loser gets a basket of lemons. Lauren Greger attends dental school in Louisville. A group of family and friends drove down from Michigan just to see the dainty. Her dad got the party started. He comes and he has his Kentucky bourbon all day. Starts early in the morning and through the late night of the dainty festivities. My dad is having the time of his life. <laughs> oh, they love it. Spectators line the street to eat bologna sandwiches, drink, and cheer on the contestants, who must be at least 45 years old. This is the fourth time Colin Justice has visited this annual event held the last Monday of July. We actually learned about the dainty before we moved to Louisville 15 years ago, and I was like, I want to move to an area where you get a smack a stick and you have to be 45 years old to do it. Justice says she loves the sense of community she feels in Schnitzelberg and the bologna sandwiches. With a laugh, she adds it's a world championship, so you know it's a quality event. It is something that represents the uniqueness of Louisville and the folks who live here and what they are excited to celebrate, which is a little bit of ridiculous and a lot of community. The winner this year is Eric Allen, who hit the little stick 149 feet. The dainty loser is Johnny Briggs. He gets the lemons for only hitting a stick eight inches. 242 contestants took a swing at the championship this year. It's also a charity event. Proceeds are donated to the Little Sisters of the Poor. Now, why is it called the Dainty? Some think it might be named after a song. Others believe it could be a translation from the word schnitzel. But the truth is, nobody knows for sure. Reporting live in the studio, Randall Cam, WLKY News.